guys welcome back to football today show i'm so glad and happy that we're here back again sorry for being away for a while and just a few complications here and there but we're back on and uh, we're bigger and better and i know that with some few few adjustments we'll be there so let's get started my main issue today is going to be simply arsenal 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 Emery still the coach. I'm still wondering why. I'm shocked. I'm confused, and um, I don't know what to say about that. Um, uh, they drew two-two with Southampton this uh, past weekend. The game was really, really terrible because we were on the back foot for all six minutes we played on that pitch. I don't know what's happening with the team. The team is really shambolic. I'm. Uh, the plays are really weird. I don't understand which game they play these days. I don't know if it's a tiki taka, if it's root one football, if it's some um, uh, the bus. You know, I don't understand. Emery really just I've never seen a coach like this because even team like Aston Villa who are down there in Newcastle, we know what they play, which games they play, but we do not know what type of style that Emery has. He has instilled nothing on these guys. He, does, he just made a small team more weak. He's made a small team... I don't know. I'm trying to be kind. Uh, and I'm trying to be just calm. Because what he's doing is shit. Honestly, it's shit. His football is so poor. He cannot do anything. The best you're doing now at home is drawing. And away is losing. It is so so bad because if you see teams which are coming to the Emirates right now are getting an average of fifteen point five percent. Teams coming to Emirates right now are coming and getting an average shot of fifteen shots per game. Who gives that amount of shots. Even my United who are languishing behind us are really, 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 really struggling at the moment. Do not allow that at their home. They're really trying their best. Whereas Arsenal are letting team number 19, Southampton, come to our own yard, dictate the play, play fantastic football. They play better than us. We had most position but the most plays were from our own half we struggled to get i don't understand the thing playing from uh, playing from behind if you cannot do that play root one football because it is shocking it is annoying disappointing and honestly i think it's time for change because if i look at the stats here seriously Seriously, seriously, seriously. We have not won a game in the last five matches. That is all competitions. That is a relegation team. <laughs> we are, our form is so, so, so bad. In the league, we have not won. In the last five games, we have a negative one. <laughs> Goal different. We have scored 18, we've only won 4 league matches out of 13, drawn 6, and we only have 18 points. This is a coach who came from PSG, coach who said he has ambition, a coach who is doubted in every media house used to say that um, he's a visionary, he's a guy who knows how to get around. Uh, team, team in a different competition. He's the Europa League king. But this Europa League king, what did he do to Arsenal? Beat him 4 1 in the final by Chelsea. That could have been a disclaimer, could have been an eye opener for Arsenal. But no one, no one, no one, seriously, no one saw that. No one said anything. They said, oh, you know, it's the first season. Yes. Even me, I won't lie. I was one of those guys. It was the first season. Let's give him another chance to try. This season, what has he done? 
he has won a total of maybe eight or nine matches out of 20 or 22 games. Seriously, that is so poor. And if we continue like this, we won't be a top 10 team, we won't be a top 15 team, we will be a relegation team. Arsenal should really pull up the socks, they should really try to at least show up the defense. If this guy cannot be sad seriously, then I think the Arsenal club board should resign all of them because I think they're nothing, they're doing nothing, seriously. They are really, really, really pissing people off. It is Arsenal is the only club, apart from my native now, that really are used to not winning anything. Even by the way, I don't know why I mentioned my United. My United two years ago Europa League winners, they're okay. This is the one even I think a calling cup with the Mourinho. Yeah, they're okay too. But now, honestly speaking, if you look at the past three years achievements, one Chelsea won uh, won uh, the one I think uh I won a Premier League, yeah, the last three years. Man City also have won a Premier League, two highs. Liverpool have won the Champions League. My United Europa League. Mm. Yeah. As the top four clubs have done something. The traditional top four. Man United, Chelsea, Big teams are winning for sure. Liverpool, Champions League, Man City, Premier League, Chelsea, Premier League have won. Man United have, have already won. Uh, sorry, won uh, the Europa League a few couple of years back. And um, Arsenal is just there. Seriously, two FA Cups. Yeah, yeah, FA Cup. Ooh, yeah. But that's nothing. Nothing. That a chance to win the Europa League. Fail. Beaten miserably for one. That's the final. Shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Hmm? <sighs> Basically, um, uh, people uh, or fans might say that um, the squad not good enough. We don't have um, uh, leaders in the team. But people should ask themselves this. The past two years, let's say three years by the way, we have signed Lacazette, around 50 million, Oba, 60 million, and Pepe, 70 million. The, those kinds of investments are really, really, really. And they used, if I may say something like that. Because if you really, really look at the tactics and we put this game, like as it is injured, sometimes he's not injured, he's at the bench. The only consistent starter, initially of Bumayang, Pepe was bought this season. He's, Emery puts him wherever he wants. Today he'll start, tomorrow he won't start. And you need this guy to perform. And it's a 72 million signing. How will he perform? Initially in the bench. Give it a Europa League games. Which for me now, I don't think it's important because Arsenal cannot win that competition. People need to be serious in what they're doing. The back line of Unai Emery is the worst backline I've ever seen even it's better than I wish Juru Galas are better even Lex of Juru and Galas are better Sylvester Sylvester is a Mustafi so I think they're the same but <laughs> yeah honestly speaking though um, I think that it's time for a small shake-up. 
Nungberg should be put as the head coach until we find a replacement. If Emre is sacked now, or if they're afraid, they just get Allegri right now. He's free. Or even uh, we signed a deal with the enemy, Pochettino. So I know those two can really do something because Allegri is well known in Italy for his staunch performances, his tight bike lines. He really made the uh, Juventus a team to reckon with because they really, really were good. And they still are because of Allegri and Conte too. But Allegri really made that team perfect. The defense was unstoppable. Before he went to Juve, he also made AC Milan a reputable team, at least before the decline, you know. AC Milan now is shit, but Allegri really, really, really tried his best. And at least they won a league title with Allegri. While Spurs, yes, people will uh, condemn Poch for what he did this season. He wasn't that good. I think that's where, or that's the most Poch could have done for that club. He finished second, I don't know, two years ago. He's, uh, he finished also third. And he has been fantastic with Tottenham, reaching the Champions League final. He made Tottenham to become a world-class team with world-class facilities. So we can't blame him for the recent performances of Tottenham because I think he had done his best. But with a team like Arsenal with Porsche, I think Porsche can really relish a chance of getting one over his old team, Tottenham. Because I think he can be suited Arsenal because um, he has his own sense of style. He's an attacking manager, sometimes defensive, but attacking manager. I think he can bring patterns to this team. Players like Kubomeyan can really, really excel, and also Lacazette mostly because Lacazette is hurricane esque, you know what I mean? Player, a player who uh, is really lethal. In the box, so I think players like that really, really can be made better or even world class the way it can was made by Poch. So, already, I'm not saying that open luck are not good, but their form is not that good to be called world class. They are, but the form right now is. Just playing the government, but with Poch or even Allegri, they can be world class. So, basically, um, uh, my thoughts are Arsenal really need a shake up. There's no way that this team will be able to go anywhere with Una Emery at the helm. The team needs to suck that joker, the team needs to make sure that. All the key players play. The team needs to make sure that this Arsenal team that they have can also be at least something more than what it is now. Honestly speaking, Arsenal really needs change, and the change is now because if they wait till Next season, we might be playing at the championship. If they wait till next season, maybe we might be nowhere. We may not be in the Champions League, Europa League, maybe just the Premier League. You know? I'm tired of this. I want change. And if change cannot be, be done, just then. We'll just let everything be the way it is because I don't think that Arsenal can do better than seventh place. They are where they are because that's where they deserve to be. Arsenal is not a big club anymore. Arsenal is just a club like any other. 
will say Arsenal is like Everton and Bournemouth. They're the same power. Because if they cannot beat any top six club right now, <coughs> Arsenal cannot beat any top six club. It has dwindled. The form is dwindling. Everyone is down at the club. And if you do not do anything serious, this club will plummet. Or it will be like a Leeds. It's so heartbreaking seeing the club I love. I'm so sorry. But Arsenal is shit. Sack Emery. Find a better replacement so we can be able to move on. Thank you very much.